A HOME IN FLORENCE WENT UP IN FLAMES THIS AFTERNOON, AND TONIGHT, NEIGHBORS ARE CONCERNED THEIRS COULD BE NEXT. WLWT NEWS SOUTH JACKIE CONJADO JOINS US LIVE NOW TO EXPLAIN. JACKIE. Yes, yeah, Cherie, they say lightning doesn't strike the same place twice, but this Boone County neighborhood proves that wrong. The house that burned today, the latest loss on a street that's seen more than its fair share of Mother Nature's fury. To neighbors watching from the outside, fire and smoke appear to gut this Hobbit's Run Lane home in mere minutes. But fire investigators say a smoldering burn had a major head start on them after lightning struck this morning. I uh, saw a flash followed by a bang very, very quickly. And uh, so I thought, that was pretty close, but never thought anything about it. No one did until two hours later when a neighbor spotted smoke and called 911. The residence was, uh, has been empty for over 24 hours. The family was on vacation, and that allowed the fire to smolder some and, and gave it a quick headway. Another neighbor's cell phone app helped firefighters confirm it. And she came outside, and, and when she looked at it, it said a lightning strike just occurred 0.0, .0 miles from your home. It's nothing new on this street. This area up here in Boone County is a, a higher elevation area, and so with it sitting higher, we tend to get more of the storms that roll across in this area. Two years ago, lightning burned a hole in Cotty Hardy's roof. We did not know it until our, our roof started leaking. And a few years before that, lightning set fire to Rebecca Woods' next door neighbor's home. Makes you nervous because you're wondering if there's not something you need to do on your end here as far as, I don't know, flight. Neighbors have mentioned lightning rods. On a sad note, firefighters tell me this family is coming back from vacation to a home that's a total loss and their pet cat died inside today. Jackie Conjato, WLWT News 5. All right, Jackie, thank you. Firefighters say that it never hurts to have an alarm system that can detect smoke when you're not home and will automatically call first responders.